All right, guys. In addition to all of the exponent rules, we also had section 3.1 and 3.2 included on this DCA. So we need to review section 3.1 and 3.2 a little bit. A couple weeks ago, we did an amazing race that had some problems from 3.1 and 3.2 in it. So this hopefully will just be a reminder and a refresher on how to do these problems before you start completing the review. So <clears throat> the first thing um, in 3.1 and 3.2 is you're going to be asked to evaluate square roots and cube roots. So when they say evaluate the square root of 400, all they want you to do is type into your calculator the square root of 400 and give them the answer, 20. Okay, remember you push the second button and then the x squared button and then you should have a square root pop up. You also might be asked to evaluate the cube root of a number. And all they want you to do is type it in and tell them what the answer is. Remember, with cube roots, this is how you punch in your calculator. You push the 3, then you push the second button, then you push the caret button, the one with the arrow, and then you type in the number. So in this case, we would type in 4,096, and we would get the answer of 16. Okay. That is when we're asked to evaluate them. In addition to evaluating them, we also are going to have to solve problems that involve squares and cubes. Numbers being squared and numbers being cubed. So if I have x squared equals 225, we need to get the x value by itself. So we need to do the inverse operation to solve. Remember the inverse of squaring is square rooting. So since this x is being squared, to reverse that I have to square root it. That gets rid of the exponent of 2, and I have x equals. Just like any equations, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I square root the 225 also. And then you type that into your calculator. Second, hit the exponent button, 225, hit enter. So we get x equals 15. But guys, remember, this is the section where we either have two answers or one answer. And remember, that's based off of what our exponent is. So since this has an exponent of 2, we're going to have the positive and negative answer. So x equals positive 15 or negative 15. So if I have an x cubed problem, I need to get the x by itself. So I'm going to do the inverse operation. The inverse operation of cubing a number is cube rooting. So remember cube root, we draw a square root. 
And then we draw a little three out there on that perch. That cancels out the threes and leaves me with X. And I have to do the same thing to the other side. Remember on the cube root problems, we type in three, second, the caret button, and then the number. And we get 12. Now remember, since this one doesn't have an exponent of 2, I'm only going to have one answer, depending on if that number was negative or if it was positive. All right, let's do one more example of each. One more example of each. You should have these notes already in your binder. So this is just a review, but you should be taking notes over this so that it is fresh in your mind. So if I have x squared equals 625, the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So I'm going to square root that x to get rid of the exponent. Then I have to do the same thing to the other side. Type it in. So I get x equals 25. But because the exponent was a 2, I have the positive and negative 25 for my answer. One more cubed problem. So the opposite of cubing the x is cube rooting the x. That gets rid of the exponent. So what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So we're going to type in 3 second, hit the caret button, and since it's a negative 4,913, make sure you put the negative in there. And on this one, whatever answer I get is what the final answer is. Hopefully you remember that from a couple months ago. But that is going to be on our DCA on Tuesday. Okay. So I'm going to write out some generic notes. So if it's x squared, the inverse is to square root it. And you should have two answers. If it's x cubed, the inverse is cube rooting it, which looks like this, and we should have one answer. So that should help you when you start on your paper review here in a couple minutes. As always, you can always pause, rewind, go back, and watch it again. <laughs> 